Greetings, and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I apologize for the uh, lack of episodes the last couple of days. I've had some serious business going on in, in real life, um, but we're back, and I have been looking at our factory, kind of seeing what we need to get done. Um, this is what needs to get done. Look at this horrible, horrible supply of iron here. Um, what I want to do is we do still have iron here that is being used. I'm gonna try to minimize the number of furnaces we have. We're gonna build some train stations um, to get iron in from the, um, the whatchamacallit here, the big furnace line here. Truck that into the main base. We're gonna try to start producing modules. I think we're gonna get rid of the temporary setup. We're just gonna move the nanobots somewhere. Uh, they do not need to be over here. They're, they've been kind of in this funky place for a long time already. Uh, and it's good to move it because we don't need this here. We can use the room for something else. I'm thinking about putting the iron train stations here uh, there's room for parking lots, um, so I think that will work fairly well. We may need to have uh, copper also coming in here. I don't know how many stations we're going to need. We're having a lot of our products made in far off lands in, in other outposts, um, but I think that we can probably get... I, yeah, it's just like, how many lanes do we need? We have green circuits made elsewhere. We're going to deconstruct all of this as well. Um, the issue at the moment, we don't have any robots. Uh, I don't know if we should make robots or what. I think we can get rid of a lot of this with nanobots. But yeah, this situation here is not good. Uh, these actually should be force feeding a single... Uh, line here. Oh, this is steel. Okay. We could probably put all of these guys into one furnace line and then be done with it. Uh, anyway, so those are the long-term plans. This might, I don't know how many episodes this is going to take, probably a couple. Um, let's go and move nanobots first because I want to get the new production up and online. So let's go see if we can just copy a little bit of a module for that. I've only been using, oh, it looks like just the regular nanobots. So let's see if we can copy this layout here. I'll just grab a blueprint. Um, this is really the wrong way though. All we need here looks like is iron and green circuits. I could put it this way. I could do it right here, in fact. And just move those chests that we have or move it up here. That's probably even better. So I don't have to move the chests. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Okay, cool. Um, and then we'll just do a little undergroundy here. In fact, we'll just do it farther along. Oopsies. There we go. Missed the button there. All right. Got to uh, get some more supplies. Looks like it. We need assembly machines. And possibly even nanobots. Okay. So this is going to be here. And we're going to need to... Okay. Now then, we can do this. All right. And now I need to filter off only the greens. So we could either use a filter um, inserter or we can do something sneaky like this. I still like to use this, uh, not a filter, either a filter uh, splitter or this kind of a thing. What this is, this is a fun, th I always like doing it this way, but you can do it any way you want. Um, this basically, you see that the hood of this underground uh, covers half of the belt. So if we put this up this way, it will only allow the greens to come through, which is kind of nice. So I like doing that. That's another way of doing these things. Let's just get uh, some nice fast inserters going along here and grab a chest, grab this. What is not functioning? Uh, we need tools. Tools? What do you need? Oh, no, we need gears. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, hmm. 
Where did we have gears on the other? Was it on the other side and I just missed it? Yes, it was across the way. I missed it. Okay, that's fine. No worries. We're, we're, we're going to be fine. Oopsies. Right there. Thank you. No. Oh, this is blocking it. Um, could put it there. Yeah, we'll do this. This is going to be ultra spaghetti sloppy, but it's fine. All right. And then we'll just do this. Grab this and a power pole. Boom. Gears for sale. Yo. Nice. Okay, cool. So this is going to give us some stuff. We need some nanobots, a few. And this is even better because we can pull our train right up here and just shop uh, <laughs> without worrying. Okay, let's go and tear down. Should we tear it down? I don't know. Let's fix this furnace situation first. We have... <laughs> um, Jeez. We have a problem with this. Okay, let's just take one at a time here. Let's just route it to the closest one. And we don't even need this whole fancy thingamadoo. We can make do with a cheaper thingamadoo. Okay, there we go. There we are. Okay, that's better. And that should work fairly well maybe oops these guys uh, it's actually backing up isn't it um we could do this and just split it off there that would give us two okay let's get rid of this all right, so that's splitting it between those two things, which is good, because we do want to empty out this area, I think. Um, right, let's see. We have this one up here that can go. Um, yes. This goes that way. We really do not need this long belt on the top any longer. Uh, and that's steel. Okay, what we really need to do here is combine these lines together and uh, and then <laughs> this is going to be interesting, isn't it? Um, <laughs> I'm looking at this like, oh my god, a spaghetti mess. And there's more here, but wait, there's more. Yes, there is more. There is more. All right. Um, god. I'm just kind of looking at this and seeing how I can possibly put these guys into a maybe a three to three balancer we're gonna need a three to three i think all right let's go get our blueprints all right um da -de -de -de. No, we don't want blues we want reds we're still red technology at the moment cannot drop blueprint book into another book i wasn't trying but it's fine <laughs> all right let's just put this here and it'll be a little bit spaghetti over here, but I don't really care at the moment. It's okay. There we go. Put that one this way. That will get rid of this one. Okay, this one can go there. Get rid of these guys. This. And then this one needs to go down here as well. And then this one will connect this way. Okay. Right. All right. This one just connects that way. It's kind of a silly thing. It's fine though that we put it that way. I wanted to see the throughput of this whole situation here. Oopsies. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Okay, that's looking better. Let's put this power pull back and see what we have here. 
This line can be deleted now that all of the iron is off of it. That one also can go. Now then, what do we got going here? All right, we got a lot of backup at the steel area. Do we need a three to four? And actually use another set of furnaces? Hmm. These guys, okay, finally iron is reaching the end of these. So we should have full production there. Wow, we have more iron than I thought. Lots more iron than I thought. All right. This, I don't know. Okay, I think we probably need to delete this. Let me just put this iron in these areas. I'm very tempted to get one of the bigger backpack mods. Because at the moment, this is slightly um, not ideal. this. Okay, we, uh, one thing we don't have brought in is steel. Looks like that's gonna have to be a thing that we do. I want to, maybe I should find two of these. Well, <laughs> you don't need two of them. You need like six of them next to each other. Um, the furnaces together to make steel because you need five times as many iron plates as you do steel plates. So the uh, the ratio of the assemblers is going to be five. Ooh. Why did I not see this? Okay. Um, this is filtering very slowly. I definitely feel like we should make this a three to four. What does that uh, look like? Let's just cut this off for a minute here. Blueprints three to four. It's not too bad. Yeah, this is not going to give us great throughput on everything, but because the steel is backed up, um, <clears throat> we might as well share it with the fourth line to get the production working. Because normally you wouldn't you would never use like a three to four because you would you would not get the um, the throughput for all of the items. But at the moment, we're not actually looking for that. We're just looking to use what we have. Okay. Right now, then this one is going to go this way. There we go. That last one will connect there. Okay, great. Yeah, the uh, the object um, is to use up this field. That is our, our object, what we're going to do. We are getting plenty of steel. Yeah, and now things are actually uh, flowing much more smoothly. You know what? I'm going to have half of this go here. Oh, not there. Definitely not there. <clears throat> and now this one is backed up. <laughs> no, never mind. Just have it all come from there. It's fine. Maybe we just had a bit of a backup there. Okay, that's good. We're doing something. How many pieces? 390 pieces of iron left there. Okay. What? Oh, we have new science that we can do. Excellent. Excellent. Um... Right. We want to get productivity going and also speed. So we will research these now. Wait, did we get advanced oil processing? Was that the last one we got? That sounds really good. Um, I think that's what we got. So we're going to have to go in, around and change uh, our oil setups 
Uh, in fact, maybe we should do that first. Maybe we should do the, um, the cracking of stuff. Now, did we decide that the big machines can do cracking as well? Can they make... I think they might. Yeah, look at this. We can. Awesome. All right. So what we do need is we need these guys. We need little assembly machines to get stuff going. I, <laughs> that's going to be interesting. Do we really want to redo this entire thing? Not really. I don't really want to do the entire thing over again. Um, but we could, we could do it. We could pipe the heavy oil and the light oil into train stations and have it converted, or uh, we could pipe it. Piping um, is going to be something that would require, uh, yeah, I don't know which one is better. Um, it would require us to have undergrounds, and I've seen people say they use like uh, nine pairs of undergrounds and then a pump uh, every nine pairs of undergrounds. So that is a possibility. Uh, but that's a pain in the socks. So I don't know if we really want to do that. Could be viable, though. I mean, if we want all of our oil in the same place. Because then we'd have to pipe it back as well. We'd have to... Otherwise, we'd have like 10 million places where we have petroleum. Which is also not ideal. Let's see. We need two of these big places. There's one here. There's one there. They are fairly close. Well, ish close. Not that close. Uh, let's, you know what? Let's try the piping method. I, I don't feel like doing the other thing at the moment. Like adding all the train stations and getting them to actually, well, that's the thing too, is that they would have to, we'd have to have an in out thing for petroleum because we'd want uh, trains to be able to pick up petroleum, but also drop it off. So we need, we'd need three more train stations at a minimum to pick up heavy oil, light oil, and petroleum. I want to see if the piping works though. We're going to try that. All right. While this is, this is going to empty out in the meanwhile, I'm going to go and I think I'm going to grab a whole bunch of supplies. Take our building train, maybe. Oopsies. <clears throat> and, uh, oops. Okay. Let's get... What else do we need? Anything? Not really. I think we're okay. I'm going to go back to the mall, drop off some stuff. I'd really like to get, well, okay, we're going to get things. We have, I want to get all the things right now. <laughs> I want to get robots. I want to get modules made. I want to, at least we got our nanobots. That's good. Where's the building train? I seem to have lost it. Oh dear. Is it here? Yeah, it's up there. Okay. Let me go get the building train. Work both ways before crossing the tracks. Remember, no need to get killed. All right, here we go. Let's take the building train with us. Go through here. Oh, nice. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> A drive-by building. Okay. And we're just going to park temporarily. I do want to use the factory buildings instead of have building a huge um, array of chemical plants, which is what I would normally do for cracking. We would we would build the chemical plants and call that good. But I don't really want to do that at the moment. Okay, so now let's go shopping speed here. I want to put in the railroad tracks. We're not going to actually need any railroad tracks, I don't think, at all. Um, put those in here, those. Let's go and uh, recycle all the rest of the belts that we picked up along the way. Uh, oh, well then. And we'll have, um, we should be getting more iron. Why are we not getting iron, guys? Ooh, this is shuffling all that to there. I think this looks very strange. Why is this behaving this way? 
Yeah, there's nothing getting to this one here. I'm going to do regular splitters here for now. Just so that we can get some produce on this line. Because otherwise we're not getting any gears. Yeah. Okay. Alright. That is a little bit better. It's not ideal. But it's better. Man, we need we need this stuff. We need everything to happen at the same time. <laughs> I feel like I would like to hire an army of Factorio players. Like, everybody who's watching... Um, can come in and, and just like play and you know we can have groups and teams and things and stuff and get everything done because right now it's like oh my god so much to do okay but it's okay we'll be fine uh, we're gonna leave this here that can be this this can all be resorted out once we have uh, robots they will come through and take everything that we don't need uh, let's delete this and delete this one. And delete that one. Okay, what else we've got? Fish, we really don't need fish. Uh, trains, looks okay. Oh, and I forgot to recycle all the other stuff too. The splitters, which are a nice valuable commodity. Quite expensive. These guys too, right? Power poles can go also. Now, we're going to need quite a lot of pumps. Do we have uh, radar dishes too? We have 20. I think we'll take a half a stack so we don't go over the one stack. Um, we have a few power poles, but we need more. Game, why are you getting so dark? Um, and then we need lots and lots of undergroundies. Undergroundies. I'm really curious to see how this works. It might work. Might work okay. We need pumps. That's what we really need. Where are they? They are here. There we go. We've got lots of pipes. Um, yes, uh, the long distance power poles is also what we need. Uh, we'll try to make a blueprint. So this will work better for us. Let's take these guys as well. Is that all we need? I don't know. Might be. Might be all we need. But yeah, long distance power poles are a must here for us. Looks pretty good. Uh, I think I'll put some of the inserters back. Because I don't think we need them really. And I'll pick up these guys and I'll pick up the blues because we're out of blues. Okay, let's have a go. Let's see if we can uh, organize this fairly well. Should we take the train? I don't know if we even need the train, to be honest. I think I think we'll just run out there for the first time and see if we can build this. Because I have everything I need on me, really. I mean, I guess I could take some more undergrounds and stuff, but otherwise... And I probably should take some pipes, or I mean some iron, just in case I need to... Um, craft some more undergrounds but we should probably also craft these uh, these pumps while we're at it okay that's fine anything else needed steel engines and pipes all right we used up quite a few of those already now then let's go to running speed whoopsies De -de -de -de. go down here All right, oopsies. Don't walk on the train tracks. It could be dangerous, slightly. Right, so um, I wanna find the one that's a shorter, well, they're both the same distance away. Who, who are we kidding here? I think what we're gonna do is, wow, we actually don't have that much uh, light oil buffered. But what I wanna do is we want to have a line here and be able to control it. So we'll have our first pump here. Okay. Oopsies. Come on. And then I'll do undergrounds. And let me just go to slower running speed here. There's That's one set. Right. Two. Three. Four. 
five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then we want to have another pump. Now, the, 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 the other question is how, how big of a distance do we need between electrical poles? That is a good question. Put one there. Okay, cool. Now we know exactly how long we need to have between these poles. So we can grab this as a blueprint. Like that. Take out the belts. We don't need the belts. And we're good. Okay, so cool. So that should give us some amount of throughput, which would be good. Um, now this stuff is going to be controlled in a different way. We're going to have a pump here and say, uh, if, let's see, let's get our wires hooked up here and our power pole. And this is going to be if light oil in one tank is greater than say 23K, All right, and we're only going to measure the one the one tank because these guys being on the same line and connected together, it's going to kind of even out between them. You see there's a little bit of variation, but generally the fluid just spreads out in tanks like this. So if we have a huge amount of oil, then we're going to make these uh we're going to make the, the solid fuel, but only then. Okay, now then, we're going to what the other thing that we need to do, <laughs> and this is extra fun. Um, we need to have another pipeline that is quite similar coming along the other way. So I think what I want to do is just have this like this. I don't know why, but this music is reminding me of Terraria today. Nanobots, please. Yo. Oh, it's there? Okay, cool. Something is wrong, though. Okay, there we go. Let's try it this way. Right. Okay, there we go. Okay, this is going to be our actual uh, blueprint. I kind of forgot to add the return line. We really do need the return line. Okay, good. And take off the belts again. All right, so here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and connect the petroleum onto this line right here. Okay, and this is going to push it outward that way. Productivity 2 is finished. Let's go to speed 2. Where is it? Aha, there we go. Research. All right. So with 10, we're actually quite close. We've gone a long distance already. That's uh, that's fairly impressive. Okay, let's go ahead and get this thing going then. Did it? Did I not save that blueprint? <clears throat> no, apparently I did not. All right. Go to map mode. Do it from map mode so we don't have to walk all the way. Now then, thank you. All right. And there we let our nanobots do things. Okay. And we have those things flowing. Perfect. And we need to turn a corner. Okay. That's good. It's fine. And as we turn the corner, I think what we're going to do is we'll just add pumps here. Um, there we go. No, nope. Yep. That actually, that was right. No, this please. Thank you. Go like this because they are two. remember two distance away because of the power poles. We need a power pole right here. 
and then we can use our blueprint this way. Nice. That one power pole is the wrong area, isn't it? It's kind of annoying. Oh well, we'll fix it. Okay, let's go. Okay, we are getting closer. Which is very, very nice. Why are this... Why do we have no electricity? Ah. Apparently that's not long enough. That's very odd. It's okay though. We'll, uh, we'll get it sorted. Okay. We're very, wow, we are very close. Look at this. All right, let's go and um, let's do oil cracking from light oil cracking. There we go. When we need water. I completely forgot about the water, but it's okay. We have uh, ample amounts of water to come in. There's a nice shoreline here. Uh, this guy is going to produce what? Let's see. 1.5k water, 1.5k light oil, and it's going to produce 1k of petroleum. Not sure why it has two petroleum outputs, maybe just for a variety. I don't know. But what we're going to do is we're going to just set this up quite carefully here. There we go. And we'll go this way. And I'm hugging the side of the building, which should allow us to keep our uh, beacons intact. Okay. Right. So this is going to come out. We'll have a power pole here. And here, possibly, we may have to rearrange that later, but it should be fine for now. Okay, that's good. So we're missing again. Why, why is this? Not quite sure I understand why they're not connecting properly. Okay, but at least this is functional. That is a good thing. Uh, okay, now I want to get water coming in. We need an offshore pump. Please say I have enough uh, stuff for this. Please, please, please. Please. I never understood why is the offshore pump here and not here. Like the pumps should be together, you would think. But, um, well, we'll see. Uh, anyway, let's get this offshore pump installed. Where did it go? And I can never find, this is the one item I can never find. There it is. There it is. Okay, it's fine. All right. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, we'll see. Hopefully that works with Actually, we could probably... Let's do this a different way. Just make sure that we get the coverage with beacons. Oopsies. That was a little bit too long. There. <clears throat> it was not too long. I just had an underground pipe there. <laughs> Oops. Okay, it's fine. No worries at all. None at all. Um, okay, I well, let's just be on the safe side here. Save a couple of tiles. And I think here is where we'll put our pump. Let's get it right here just to mitigate some of that distance. And we will put, can we afford, let's put this, no, no, of course not. Ah, there it goes, there it goes. Okay, great, it is now making stuff. And it's evacuating stuff very quickly. Okay, so this is working quite well, having no issues whatsoever with, or maybe we are, I don't know. Is this all flowing?
I'm confused why this is... All right, let's get a radar out here. But I think we may have to deep... Well, let's go and just see. I'm thinking... I've already gone past past time, and it's like, okay... Um, maybe there's like a place where it's stopped somewhere? Put one here. Okay, here's where we have an issue. Right, where is it? Ah, that would help. <laughs> that would help just slightly. Let's make sure we have petroleum all the way up and hopefully we can call this thing good. Yeah, it's going. It is flowing like crazy. Look at this. Looking good. We now have petroleum. It is happening. Excellent. This is most excellent. And these guys are pumping it out to the trains. Yep, which have zero. It's it's all getting used. Mm. Yeah, it's all going into the train. There's actually a train sitting here. Very nice. Okay, so we have oil connected and uh, we have no more solid fuel. <laughs> this, this actually may be an issue uh, at some point if we're going to rely on solid fuel for stuff, which I think we had been importing some of it here to, um, to help out the steam engines. But now that we have um, technology, we could possibly go into nuclear technology once we have, I think we need purple science for that, yeah. Purple and, and gold science. But we're gonna work on that in the next few episodes. Well, maybe next, next, next few. Uh, there's many, many things to do, but hopefully we'll get there. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.